Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite video right here on my channel and thanks so much for stopping back by today as always. Today I want to talk about a pretty big announcement that Fortnite made earlier as well as dive a little bit into a deeper theory about the entire Butterfly and Cube event that I think is really interesting. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you like what you see. And if you really want to be updated because YouTube does mess up sometimes, be sure to turn on those post notifications. So I want to start out by talking about the new item that's coming to Fortnite, and that is the mounted turret. The description is, place the mounted turret and hop in to apply some suppressive fire, careful not to overheat. This announcement has set social media ablaze. Literally, most people are really concerned about this, and for the most part, those concerns are justified. I mean, there are a lot of questions that we still don't know, a lot of answers we still don't know about this, and if they do it right, it could be good, it could be. Now, I don't know for sure, but if they mess it up, it could be really, really bad. But I'm optimistic, I trust in Epic Games, we'll see what they come up with. My two main questions about this is, one, how much ammo will it have? If it has a ton of ammo, that could be a problem if you could just sit up there on this turret and rain down fire on people. And also, and it was kind of partially answered in the description, how long is the cooldown going to be? I was concerned at first it might not have a cooldown at all, but when I realized it was going to, I, you know, said, thank, thank goodness, that's definitely a good thing. Obviously, you don't want people just raining fire constantly, but you also need to have it be worthwhile using, so you've got to find a happy medium for the amount of time that you can constantly be using it, and how long the cooldown will be. Will be. The potential impact this turret could have on the change of the meta for this game is unreal. I mean, the first thing I think of when I think of this item is I think of someone throwing like a port of fortress, just a giant structure, or getting on top of some really high building or high area, and then putting that thing down and just raining fire on you constantly. There's gotta be an ammo cap. I'm glad there's also a cooldown. Another really interesting point is I wonder if you'll be able to actually rip the thing out of the ground because obviously if it's a mounted turret, it seems like it's got to be put into the ground. It's got to be, you know, on a pivot. I wonder if Epic is going to make it so you can pick it up when, you've, when you're done mounting it and you can take it somewhere else. I don't think you should be able to do that, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Let me know how you guys are feeling. Let me know all the emotions you have right now about the news of this mounted turret. I think it's going to go one of two ways. Either it's going to be, you know, pretty good, it's going to be fine, it's not going to be too overpowered, or it's just going to be absurd. I don't think there's going to be any in-between. It's either going to be one or the other. I'm really hoping it ends up turning out to be good because I love the game and I want what's best for it, as I'm sure a lot of you guys do. Now I want to transition into a theory about the storyline I have involving the cube and the butterfly event that I think kind of makes a good bit of sense and I definitely want to get your feedback. So as you guys know, during the event, we were all transported to an area that we're all calling the in-between at this point, which was just a very blank white area. Once the players were there, we actually ended up touching a butterfly, which then transported us back to the real world. A lot of questions have been raised concerning what is the butterfly, like literally what is it, because it seems to be some... Some very, you know, supernatural being, you know, it just kind of formed out of nowhere. It looks like the rift. There's a whole lot of strange stuff going on. Is there anyone controlling it? Literally, the answers and the questions go on and on. Even though we have a ton of questions still to be answered about literally what went on, very simply, what was going on there, one thing that we can pretty much circle in is the fact that that butterfly was the protector of the island in that very moment. It looked like something bad was about to happen. The whole theme of the season is Darkness Rises, so in that regard, it looked like the darkness was about to win. But then out of nowhere, this butterfly comes up to every single player in Fortnite, and within a snap of a finger, it makes a sound and transports us back, and at that point, it was like nothing had ever happened. I'd like to believe that there's someone watching over the Fortnite island, there's someone who's responsible for entirely saving the area, and that's why we're okay, that's why we're still here, and that's why all the evil has gone away from the map. Now, this isn't the first time the Fortnite world has been saved magically and pretty much mysteriously from a tragedy. If you remember back in Season 4, just as the storyline was really starting to get cooking, we had the rocket launch. 
Now, if you'll remember, that rocket launch actually went straight up into the sky, and then there were a bunch of red lasers that targeted Tilted Towers, and the rocket went straight down, and for a very brief moment, everyone held their breaths as it looked like Tilted was about to get pummeled. But yet again, a mysterious force intervened and stopped it from hitting Tilted Towers. It literally just stopped it instantly, and not only that, but started teleporting it around the map, ultimately causing it to leave the area through a rift that got created in the sky. Of course, we all know how the storyline progressed from there, but the main point to take away from this is I believe, I, I do, I strongly believe that the same force that the butterfly used to pretty much save the entire map this past week was the same party responsible for saving Tilted earlier in Season 4. In a lot of ways, that rocket launch was the official start of the major main storyline that we know now. They kind of worked themselves in with the comet in Season 3. Before Season 3, there was basically no storyline at all, at least nothing is serious or significant as we have now. The rocket also played with a lot of people's emotions the second it targeted Tilted because that was kind of expected. A lot of people predicted that rocket to go and destroy Tilted because that had been a rumor for so many different weeks in a row way back when, like six or seven months ago. Everyone was talking about Tilted going down, so the second we saw the lasers start to target Tilted and we saw the rocket go down, we thought, yup, this is it, this is the end. But sure enough, it didn't turn out that way. Someone was looking over every one of us. They were looking over Tilted and intervened and saved us, but they also knew that wasn't the end of the fight. They knew they would be needed later and took the form of a butterfly to transport us out of that purgatory we were in that a lot of people are calling the in-between. So if we assume just for the sake of the argument for this video that it is someone who's saving us and watching over us and being quote unquote our guardian angel, who would it be? Like literally who is it? What character in the Fortnite storyline is responsible for looking over us? A couple ideas that come to mind right away are the hunting party skin, the visitor, and the enforcer, mainly because they are the three main skins that have pertained to storylines and also the level 100 skins for each one of the three previous battle passes. We're going to be getting a pretty big content update here later in the week, and whenever we do, we should get the next loading screen, which should provide a whole ton of clarity and actually kind of show us what kind of went on with that cube event. That's what I fully expect. I expect to see the aftermath of that big battle that we saw for the week 7 loading screen, and I'm really excited, man. I really love this story, and I think Fortnite's doing a great job. Besides just the actual gameplay, but of also keeping the storyline and the lore fresh and worth following. The past three seasons, Fortnite has done a remarkable job of having an actual in-game storyline, which isn't something a lot of other games can say. I sincerely hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you could drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think about everything I said here in today's video. Above everything else, I love to spark conversations, that's what I'm doing. I'm a pretty big theory channel, so I obviously love to interact with you guys, get your takes and all that sort of stuff. Make sure you leave your comments down below and I'll catch you in the next video, and until then, peace out.